So now I guess I'm in the Hot Wheels brokering business. You yeah. are. Yeah. So I didn't, you're, the, like, you're the Coinbase of Hot Wheels crypto. There he is. Ladies and gentlemen, keep it tuned right here. You're listening to WKOB, the hot cob. Next up, window shop. One of the commenters said that I look like a like a science teacher. I think it's the whiteboard. <laughs> I'm hoping. I'm you, hoping it's the you, whiteboard. I was like, you think that's what it is? <laughs> Once again, it's time for window shopping, the exciting moment where we all talk about cars for Car and Driver magazine. Here's the editor-in-chief, Tony Caroga. Welcome to Window Shop with Car and Driver. This is the weekly show where Car and Driver editors, staffers, friends, and contributors gather to search for cars on the internet based on a challenge. This week's challenge uh, digs back into our history. It's the Boss Challenge. So the magazine years ago um, in the 60s, we started out with a Plymouth wagon that we swapped a uh, um, engines on. Uh, we had a Mercedes Benz uh, that was a Boss wagon that was also, I think, David E's wagon. And then we had uh, a Volvo wagon that I think we turbocharged, Casey? You remember? What I think that's right, yep. And, um, and then Casey Colwell did um, sort of a variation of the Boss, boss Wagon 10 years ago when he made a Mazda, Speed, Mazda 5 into a Mazda Speed 5 by putting the powertrain of a Mazda Speed 3 under the hood. So this week's challenge, we're going to build Boss Wagons. I don't remember the budget. What was the budget? 50, 50 grand. 50. Okay, good. I'm under budget. Um, <laughs> And uh, we're joined uh, by senior editor Alana Schur, uh, contributor Mr. Jonathan Ramsey, favorite contributor Jonathan Ramsey. Uh, <laughs> That's right, Deputy, Pearly. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Deputy testing director Mr. Casey Colwell, and the incredible and a little bit late today, uh, Roden Trent, <laughs> senior editor Mr. John Pearly Huffman. And remember, I don't answer to you, Mr. Boss Man. I know. I can say whatever I want. All right, you go first. How's that? Okay. Um, I think Alana will appreciate this because Alana and I both come from the hot rodding world. And uh, so, God, really? Wait, wait, wait. I thought you've been a contributor to Car and Driver for like ever. <laughs> but... well, he does it all. He does it all. He does. I, really I, I, was I, the I'm... essence of car craft. I, well, I, dude. I bought that cologne. <laughs> right it next smells, to the michael jordan like cologne it, it smells like his office doesn't it <laughs> oh completely and it it comes in a cologne bottle like this it's just like a glass mini bike <laughs> here's my car to start with it's a uh, 1978 malibu wagon which is a which is a gma body yes which means it's extremely easy to modify there's a lot of parts out there for it very easy to hot rod. A lot of fun. Photos. Hold on a second. Okay. <laughs> so this one, this one, this one's not great. It's got rally wheels on it, which I always Those like. Cool. It's got some body panels that match. It's yeah, got the Roga interior. Don't I like the interior about the way it looks. Yeah, yeah. interior is great. Interior is great. Exterior is great. Wheel. I'll go back one. That's the steering wheel, Jonathan. That's the steering wheel from KC's Grand Wagoneer. <laughs> it is from last oh, week. That's right. It is. <laughs> and so it's a. This is a perfectly good starting point. I love then, it. Yeah, and then and then to really make it happen, I'd go to uh, and I, I think I may have blown past budget. I don't care. I would get a uh, a Monte Carlo, one of these uh, Schwartz uh, performance chassis. Okay, mm -hmm. wait a minute. The, you think you might have gone past the budget? That's oh, definitely great. he did. With, with just this car, you're already over budget. No, the car the car is the car is only fifty seven hundred dollars. Well, how much is this? Uh it's like twenty grand. Okay. okay. Well, so you're, you're still fine. You're okay. Yeah. Okay, and so these are pretty cool, but you know, it, it comes. Oh, wait, with, I'm sorry, I thought you were buying the Buick. You're just buying this chassis. Yeah, just buying the chassis. Ah, because this chassis will fit. This is an A body chassis, so it'll fit under any A body, including the wagons. So you just think, stretch the wheel ways. That's that one's got a nice LS, huh? Well, that's what my next thing would be. I'd buy an LS, an LS six uh, E rod wagon connecting cruise, and uh, which is about eighteen grand. This doesn't count. No, the reason why I say I'm going to blow past the budget is, you know, I'm not counting a transmission, an exhaust system, all the labor, everything else would have to be done to it. It's going to be so, over. So you bought you bought Boss Wagon parts then for today's yeah, challenge. I did. I did. I bought I bought okay. I bought a Boss Wagon uh, starter starter kit, but it would be a hot rod. It wouldn't be you know a traditional uh, Dave D. Davis. I got this for free. Hot Boss Wagon. So this is a this is a this is this is be a, a hot rod. So the thing about this generation of Malibu, it's GM and it's most cynical. The back yeah. windows don't go down. 
No, they do only, not. Only the vent works. And because I think they made air, air conditioning was finally standard on these, on these A-bodies. And they were mm. like, well, people don't need to put their back windows down anymore. We'll just give them vents. <laughs> That's just a vent the cigarette smoke. <laughs> you know, people people were just hacking darts in there. Did your grandparents have one time. of these two kids? Yeah. No, no, Caprice. It was, it's all Caprices. Now, having said that, you're right. It is one of the most cynical things it is. But I like this size. It uses basically the same A-body chassis that was designed in 1964 for the mid-size cars, which is one of the best chassis GM ever did. It has a four-link, a natural four-link suspension with splayed links at the top and uh, things at the bottom. It has a good front It's not a five-link, so it's a missing link. <laughs> Go on. Okay. It's got a good. It's got a good double A arm front suspension. The A arm, the front suspension, is the same suspension they actually end, that ended up fitting to all the S tens. Okay, that's so, great. Those are known for their handling. Oh, was he, I was gonna say that. <laughs> and the trucks got it too. <laughs> oh, you think the, the every part, every part that you want to use for this thing is is such a GM part that it's easy to swap things and change things out. Keep so, showing you the photos while you're talking. Okay, so, Hurley, so, this is this is a good wagon. Um, and these these things are incredibly popular with folks who do those drag and drive events because yeah. you can load up the whole back of the wagon with all the stuff that you need for the like swapping back and forth between street and drag racing. And then, you know, I think I've got a buddy who's got a tan one runs eight, something like that. So there you are uh, considerable machines. Yeah, and they're very, all self-contained. You can drive it to the track with all your stuff, and yeah, it's, yeah. It's, a very, it's a very it's not it's not in the tradition of car and drivers boss wagons. But it really, is. is there a shot of the rear or where you can see how low the the tail lights are mounted? When I was a kid, I was always fascinated by how low the tail lights. <laughs> well, the the tail lights are actually the tail lights are actually in the bumper. <laughs> Look how low they are. Probably go yeah. to the. There's one more where you can see the rear. The next one. Yeah. yeah. The the good thing the good thing about putting I mean they're incredibly vulnerable to damage, but the good thing is is it means that the tailgate's pretty wide. Right, you know, you know the lights there. Yeah. As far as general interest, Tony, was it Fairmount, Fairmont, or Malibu? Like oh, Fair Fairmont. I didn't like those low tail lights. I thought it was a safety concern because people couldn't. <laughs> As a child, that's, that, that's good to know the preview As a six-year-old, you were like, "That's not safe." And also, I got to say that the Fairmont's rear windows go down. This cars don't. And again, who cares? <laughs> <laughs> all right pearly we got to keep the show moving this week okay just i love it i love your choice I, i'm not sure if you're under budget though but that's okay yeah, who cares <laughs> um alana you want to go next i can't wait to see what you brought um sure yeah absolutely um see. oh jonathan has a picture of the the show yeah. wagon the, that's another boss wagon we yeah have. oh i saw yeah. these I saw they're this. all these are all so, boss wagons so I originally wagon. i was looking for a pinto wagon i wanted one of the ones with the round window um and I found this guy who's selling like um, a bunch of them, sixteen yeah. of them. But it's like the, I, the Blues Brothers. I just no, no. <laughs> he actually got all of these cars. Um, but I, I, you know, I just I did write to him. See, I said uh, how, I'm dying to know how you ended up. With <laughs> yeah. Anyway, this wait, is wait, the, wait, 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 wait. Is it does that guy really have that many Pinto wagons? That are yeah, apparently, he, apparently he does. I maybe it's a scam, but like, what a weird car to run a scam. You, Anyhow, you, you, not you, what know, I, you know what I think it was built for? Because he's in Hacienda Heights. It's probably a movie movie car. Yeah, it's probably a movie thing. They're yeah. all yellow. Oh yeah. So, this is what I did pick. I, uh, I found this cute little 68 Volkswagen square back. Um, yeah. Somebody has already done some engine swapping to it. This is a later, I think, type four. Um, so what would that be like a 914 or out of a bus? 411, yeah. 411 412. Yeah. Um, so, and these things are incredibly easy to soup up there. You know, basically you can soup up a Volkswagen for like $12. Um, this is less than 8,000 to start with. But what I really wanted to do with it was um, kind of go maybe like Safari 911 look with it and, um, you know, kind of lift That's it up cool. and uh, found quite a few of them, which I like can't get to now because my- I didn't know that was a thing. It's not really. I found a fair amount of them um, and they look really cool. But it's not that easy, according to the the Samba, which if you uh, like, so they look cool. If you like apocalyptic reptile, which I do. Okay, just What's making sure. 
that's my sing. that's my band's name, Jonathan. <laughs> that's, oh, no, that's his spirit. Okay, you guys are playing are in Kentucky next that's week. That's right. Yeah, we're, we'll be there. <laughs> so, I hope to see everyone. Get them up. <laughs> get them up there. Uh, you know, it's a it's not the same suspension as a earlier VW Bug, so it's not as easy to build like a Baja Bug. You can't just like use all the Baja Bug parts, but it's still like a torsion bar suspension. Or right. you know, I mean, I got so much money to spend, I can just do you know just go to an off-road shop and put some some massive stuff on it. But I. I'm, I'm into this. I, I think this would be a lot of fun. It's now, what exciting. what was the train of thought to get you to this? Because it feels like you were it feels like you were av- trying to avoid a bunch of things and then landed in a place. Well, you didn't I mean, look, you guys know me. I just don't want to be predictable. I mean, obviously, this is the first thing that I thought of. <laughs> it's already a okay. boss wagon. I would have sure. put a blower out the hood and we would have been done. But you okay. know, <laughs> I, I can't do that. I, I gotta. <laughs> I got to challenge myself. I like to learn something. I, I like to make this as hard as possible. If I don't do like two hours of research before <laughs> to just learn like the bare minimum about squarebacks, then I feel like I've failed. So the team. opposite of Pearly is what, is what you're doing. <laughs> Pearly already knows everything. Um, oh, that's so. right. Well, that's why her, her, win per, her win percentage is much higher than yours, Pearly. Oh. Um, I, so I just want to thank you for recognizing my intel, my incredible breadth of knowledge. Thank you. So, so that's where I am. You know, I'm accepting, uh, I'm accepting advice on souping up Type Four engines. And, can we see uh, the, um, can we see the Chrysler again? That's one of the beautiful nice. fuselage cars, right? Oh God, isn't it good? Look at it. Oh, so the fuselage design really looks great in the wagon too. Yeah, I mean, if I'd picked this, it would have just been a, a total winner. But I just can't go that easy. Yeah. I mean, you, that's the fuselage design. I mean, it just looks like a, a pencil. I thought, like, I thought, I thought the fuselage. This is uh, this is something I have to admit I don't know. Is the was the fuselage design the midsize cars the uh, the B cars? Um, uh, no, that's the Coke bottle. Um, I'm talking the about, I, thought the, I thought the seventy one. I thought the seventy ones were the uh, were the fuselage. Is this why you got fired from Carcraft? I was oh. going to say she just I, celebrated your breadth of knowledge, <laughs> and, then you, <laughs> and yeah. then you pop in with. You know, Pearly, they might use it for both, but yeah, but no. it's specifically that like um, end of the like 69, 70, like big, yeah, flat know. and long um, C body because they they were sort of um, sharp angled before that, and then they got kind yeah. of smooth. So yeah, the sides are sort of like this sort of shape, like sort of roundage sides, right? Isn't that- yeah, the they're, 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 they're very cool looking cars, but they are giant unibodies. Yeah, what's and wrong not, with that? Yeah, and what's the point? Not the, not the world's best unibody builders in the, back then. They're they're pretty, they they don't structurally hold up unless they've been preserved like this. Look at the size of that I, I want. Mass. I, mean, I want to know how many times the wood grain is repeated. Like, like oh, the fake like wood the grain, like how many times the pattern is repeated. You, yeah, don't, think, you um, don't think that's book matched like a Bentley? Casey, you know, <laughs> oh, no, I think I think it's butch book matched. But right, Casey, I, I think you mean it's, like, it's like every, the same book? Every, yeah, every like like feet, it repeats. Yeah, yeah like how cartoon. how big like is the pattern? Yeah, they, how long is only, the pattern? Yeah, um, in, in the in the, in the seventy two Dodge Monaco wagon, I mean, which is a version of this car, the wood went up the C pillar. <laughs> so it went all the way across and then up the C pillar, which I thought was like really that is barely a C pillar. I, well, that's a D pillar. Look at the size of that. No, I'm saying though. the C pillar. Look, this at the, look at how little the C pillar is, and look at how <sighs> giant that glass is. It's huge. Yeah, um, as as it should be, you know. And this, <laughs> and this window does go down. Um, anyway, that's not the car I picked, unless you guys like it a lot, <laughs> in which case it is. <laughs> like okay, so you're so you're, yeah. you're it's it's the it's the it's the Volkswagen Safari um, square Safari. Back. Yeah, I want to do a Volkswagen back. Safari uh, Volkswagen wagon, you know, wagon square back. All right, uh, Mr. Ramsey, would you like to go next? You've got some great boss wagons from history. That's the show. Uh, we, I forgot, I forgot these the are, yeah, the these are all boss wagons. Um, yep. The So I uh, went the Pearly and uh, almost Alana route, if I could find where my share button is. Uh, there Pearly and Alana route? If I had five minutes, I'd go find the, find the staff photo of everybody in the uh in like the the letterman's jacket the, the car and driver letterman's jackets hanging out around that uh, oh, around the, the show. red show yeah what happened John? i mean i i would say have casey go and i'll be right back and i will let's turn try this again or you can send casey the link and he can drive and then you can and then we you can talk so I, can i i don't know if i i just took a security a corporate security class I'm not sure I could cl- should click. On that. <laughs> That's Casey. You can, you know, you can trust me. <laughs> That's Jonathan. Did you find this? Uh, did you find this car on a USB drive in the parking lot? Um, it was actually on a, a Russian site 
that said, uh, if Americans want to buy cars, come here. So, all right, here we, okay. all right, here we go. Oh, yeah. So realizing that GM already had a, uh, this has a Corvette engine LT1 saying the F body Z28 Camaro as well. Uh, it was detuned to like 260. Uh, 255 oh. or 260? 260, 260. 260. 255 in the pickups and the, and the Tahoe, I think it was. Is, is this James Lipman's wagon? No, James Lipman's wagon's got it. Uh, he put an LS in it's got an LS3 in it, doesn't it? Let Jonathan present. <laughs> That's no, 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 please. That's Casey on the controls <laughs> commentary from everyone. Uh, but and well, and I liked it because that's that backseat arrangement is what I mean. They're for 40 years, they've, they've been doing that, or well, at the time, 20 some years. Uh, that was in um, the Malibu as well that probably showed. And I chose this one because it was cheap enough and it had leather. There were cheaper ones that had cloth that were also fantastic, but uh, you know, I like my luxury so. Uh, to put in it, I figured why tune the LT1, even though that would be great. And instead, I went with the entire uh, LT4 oh, from a ZL1 man. with the six speed manual because cool. we're going to do this properly. Um, and I think in the what in the Camaro it was like 640 and 630, not the square 650. Um, Something like that, yeah. 640 horsepower, yeah, 630 torque, uh, TR6060. Um, it's going to need. A bit of uh, a bit of custom work to get the, the the mounting right, but this has been done so many times that guides are all over the internet, and uh, I think it wouldn't be too difficult. The rest of the money, I think, with that, I'm like at twenty seven, so I'm gonna get some coilovers. I'm gonna get some proper wheels. I'm gonna get a uh, some stabilizer bars that are like Greek columns to hold the thing steady. Randy, but, the, the rest of the money is just going to be for gas. <laughs> <laughs> That's, well, it's, I'm going to drive it to Venezuela, I figured. And then oh, every time now, you need to fill up. Yeah. <laughs> That's exactly. I love how the tailgate, the tailgate opens two ways and it's got the two handles for it to flop down or to swing out. To see the two Which, handles. Yeah, so, yeah. Is the best. Yeah, it was a cool. I just, the, the one I liked was like the 71 to 76 wagons that had the disappearing tailgates that went into the floor. Yeah, yeah. Those were really, really cool. Those are supposedly really great for um, demolition derby because of all the structures. Also, it, you'll out. notice more vent windows here, this time on the D pillar, not the C pillar. I think this, this one's got a, got, a, got a dent in it on the uh, on the right, left side, doesn't it? Well, yeah, uh, yeah it's, it's, it looks like it was missing some trim. Um, well, it's missing some trim on the right side, so it's just matchy. Yeah. That's all right. It makes it more of a sleeper. Look, 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 yeah, look, I think you keep these wheels. Exactly. Yes. I don't want. I don't want new wheels. I don't want anyone to know that I have now a car that is the Roadmaster. That's and the Roadmaster has the portholes in the roof, right? Um, it has, I think it's the, what the Vista touring roof, like. Oh, a, yeah. Is that, the, what, is that only on the old? Like Vista, what's that on the roof right now? That's oh, I think carpet. it's the carpet from. Oh, uh, is that that got a, a cargo pad? Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Really, this, one yeah. Doesn't, this one has a rear. Yeah, it doesn't have. Well, it has, has a sunroof. Has a has a has a, like a half vista roof. It's just got right. a little sunroof at the top. So oh, think, Alana, yeah. Alana's working on a piece about people who modify these things. Yeah, actually, I was just going to say that the the we are working on an in, on an issue for print where um, we talk to some of the original designers of this car and ask them what they think about everybody modifying them. So uh, everybody <laughs> should definitely re up their subscription for that. <laughs> I buy one subscription. They make great gifts too. So yeah, a roadmaster. That's the roadmaster. I'm also. Oh, I forgot. I'm also going to put a figurine of uh, Jesus or Jesus from the Big Lebowski on the dash because nobody f with the Jesus, and that's what I want. <laughs> oh, Carlos going to have to bleep that out. Yeah, going to have to bleep that. <laughs> that's, that was just oh, for you. Are we not swear? Are we not allowed to swear? Or are we not, not on YouTube? To talk about religion. Well, what, what, no, how far can we yes. go? We say sh**. No, Pearly. <laughs> You're just creating more work for me. Which is your, it's just your mo. Wait, do I do I get skipped? Oh, sorry. <laughs> or am I going last? I'm no, so I'll eager. go last. I'll go last. <laughs> I'll vote last. I'll do it. I'm voting last this. Week. I like that. Go for it, Tone. You want me to go? Okay, I'll go. Yeah, we'll, we'll mix it up. Uh, crazy. once you can only have so much power tony <laughs> so, so i i'm with alana i went square back oh now, my god i didn't oh, find nice. a lot of photos on this one but this one <laughs> has more photos 
It's a good price. I like the blue. It looks super original. I like that wow. steering wheel. That is so crazy. I had, I would, of all of the different times I've done this, this was the first time I was like, nobody else is going to do this one. I've <laughs> never, I've never seen, I don't think there's ever been an episode where we had the exact same car, but my plan is a little different from yours. So. Well, your, your pick is already quite a bit nicer too. So the original horsepower was 65 on these. Um, and I'm going to swap the engine out, which is a popular engine swap with this Subaru Legacy 2.5 liter, which I think is 265 horsepower. So I'm taking it from 65 horsepower to 265 horsepower. Um, I sourced, it's 2,200 bucks for the engine. Um, I'm I, so surprised you went with this engine and not an air-cooled Porsche. Oh, so that's like, like I looked for people that did those conversions and it just doesn't exist. Boy. Well, I mean, I mean somebody- It seems like that's why you, you would can't have- can't all be trailblazers, Tony. <laughs> well, so, okay, so to, to get the Subaru engine to work in the, you know, in the rear drive configuration, you have to flip everything around. So yeah. the Subaru five-speed gearbox works. Um, let's see. Yeah, they changed they change the, the pinion on, instead of like the, the leading edge of the ring gear, it's on the trailing edge of the ring gear. They just um, reverse the rotation. I can't find it. Yeah, exactly. It's, uh, it's a few grand, but I'm still well under budget. My car's 10 grand, my engine's two grand. And uh, there's also this place that does the engine conversion, which I could send it to. And this is what it would look like, sort of. I mean, this yeah. is a Subaru engine stuffed in the back of a, uh, it might be a Carmen notch, Gia. Not a square back, yeah, or Carmen Ghia. Mm. Um, but I would add 200 horsepower. I would not upgrade the brakes or tires. And it would <laughs> just be... Scary as hell is what oh, it would yeah. be. Oh, yeah, yeah, I like it. That's, that, that, that makes sense. That makes just, it fun in the canyon. It would just, just be dangerous. I just drove. I just drove a VW Type Two van with a 120 horsepower engine in it, and it was sheer terror. <laughs> yeah, my sister. When my sister moved to San Francisco, she bought a Squareback for a thousand dollars, and I I was visiting her once, and I drove it a lot, and mm. it was like it was a lot of fun, and pretty much dynamically challenged with 65 horsepower. So, <laughs> so this would be really exciting. Oh, and why well, are you kinda, not they changing? They got Michelin's in those size. What's that, Casey? You, you, you got you got Michelin's and uh, <laughs> I don't think Michelin makes Michelin's? anything. This is like a Beetle tire, so I think it's like a one sixty five fifteen. Yeah, I can look Coker. it up. Well, you want to keep it a sleeper. Well, I mean, that sounds like a crasher if he's not changing <laughs> the the brakes or the wheels. Talk amongst yourselves while I'm shopping for time. I mean, that that's why I went off road with mine. You know, it's uh. It's just going to be you, much. You only hit trees instead of people when well, you know cactuses. <laughs> I'll hit plenty of trees in mine. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> you hit them when you're rolling down the hill. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's see. Seventy. Let's say. Oh, it's not even an option. Let's see. <laughs> see nine. I think the square back. Like who yeah, even remembered so the square back existed before we we just brought up two of them? I remembered it. 165.15. Except for Pearly. If, if, if you want to be perverse, you did in like a 412. All right. Um, Mr. Casey Colwell, you get the last spot since I yep. took the gun. So um, I, having actually done this, um, it is, uh, it takes like every last bit of, uh, can we see this? Are we seeing this? Oh, yeah. 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 It takes like every last bit of, of your energy to to make this happen and i have a i have a project car i've had in mind for a long time this is not it because i wanted to do one that was easy and i could get on the road and do it reliably and that's a rear drive uh, volvo wagon and then i found this volvo and i, I might even call these guys about this volvo because it's pretty it's, it's a one owner car uh low mileage that's um pretty clean yeah it looks um, nice Oh yeah, yeah. not a lot of miles. Eighty-five, eight, yeah, it's, it's it's under eighty-five. I think. I think it's like is that a rear-facing? Sorry, third row. Is that what that is? You know what it is. Yeah, <laughs> that doesn't. Well, I, like, uh, I, I like the fact that the dashboard has that giant clock in it. So, do Tony and I both lose points for having wagons that don't have rear-facing seats? Like, <laughs> yes. I don't think we should. Not with ours. Has an engine back there. It's much cooler than seats. <laughs> you could sit on it. And what is that aftermarket third row doing in there, though? It's not. It's factory. It's not aftermarket. Oh, that's factory? Wow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That seems so un-Volvo to just strap a racing cage. It's so you know, uncomfortable. There's, there's, some, there's, some, there's some, like, little cosmetic things. But, um, but overall, it, this, is a, this is a pretty clean 960. Um, 
And I would, of course, gut the 24 valve inline six and probably a four speed automatic. But even those seats look clean. I wouldn't change anything about the way this thing looks. Um, stock radio. But, yeah, stock radio. I love that. Heated seats. And um, I'm, I mean, it's, it's, you got to go small block, but we're going, we're going LS7. Nice. Yeah, I love the LS7. I do love the LS7. You know? Is there is there somebody that puts LS7s in Volvo wagons, Casey? Uh, I mean, me. <laughs> um, That's the trailblazing I mean, he no, was I mean, speaking are, of earlier. I mean, there are, there are, I mean there, there are tons of there are tons of V8 kits for Volvo wagons. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, this is the one. Oh, it, yeah. Infamously, Paul Newman, uh, through his friend Michael Brockman, who just passed away, who's a friend of ours of mine. Uh, is, is the, close personal? Uh, close personal, yeah. Close personal friend. Well, you worked with him in motor truck. Uh, Michael Brockman built a uh, beat that Carlos b- beat a, a Volvo 960 uh, with uh, two. He built three of them, I think. One for himself, one for um, David Letterman, and one for Paul Newman with a supercharged uh, five liter Ford in it. Yeah. Was that uh, the guy? Was that the guy out east on the east coast? Well, it's Kenny Bell who did the uh, engine. Here no, in no, no, that wasn't the question. The Michael, Michael, Michael mod- modifications were Michael. done by the by the sh- this guy, this guy, Casey. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, was, it was done. It was done. Uh, yeah, it was- it's Ro- Ross Converse who famously brought the taco soup to a super tuner, which was a Tacoma with super running gear. Um, but yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. So that, that's what I mean. That's this kit. Yeah, it's this kit. And uh, uh, just just shout out to Michael Brockman. He was a good guy. And he <laughs> passed away. He passed away in, in This is Ross Converse. But yeah. Michael Brockman. Michael Brockman had the cars built for Paul. Newman. Anyway, I'm going. <laughs> I'm going. LS7. Not that part, really. That part. Hey, what, what, what are you up to? I can't even say something nice about somebody without getting. Oh my dissed. goodness, Casey. Amount. You hijacked dollars. my presentation. <laughs> what are you up to? So uh, I mean, I'm. I mean, first of all, uh, I'm. I'm. I'm dropping. I'm. I'm getting this for eighty five hundred. Down deal. <laughs> okay uh my uh 12 grand so we're at like 20 okay you know trans is three you know there's going to be some more work i'm, I'm well under budget right um, i'm even going to get a a, a tourism limited oh slip. wow um you know and there are you know i mean there are there's tons of tons of stuff available for these is that uh, a is that a it's for chevrolet that's for us no it's not Oh, it's not. It's not. Uh, well, it's 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 universal. It's oh, a, okay. It's a, it's a it's a universal. Because <laughs> all the eights um, are exactly the same, apparently. <laughs> no, they're not. But um, uh, he, he's got a lot of budget. He can yeah, make. He can I got. Make, I got. I got plenty of budget to, to make, make universal work, apply. To make, a, it, to make a dry sump. Uh, to make a dry sump V eight fit in there. But it's even sound would awesome. Fit, and you had to raise the other the great thing though, about it is. I am going to max out that red line. <laughs> oh, I thought you were going to say speedometer, which you might too. Well, yeah, you could probably do that too. You see, go back to the top of the listing. What? What? There's a word. What? Okay, see this. I see the blurb there. Mean, decent. What? Did, what do you think mean was supposed to say? Neat. Oh, okay. Is N near T? <laughs> Neem. Nerd. Nerd. I love. It. Is this and that day totally lost hangman <laughs> because oh it could be non I mean maybe it's non not yet not it could, decent. It could be near decent which would still be indecent oh, oh yeah you know, yeah near decent <laughs> you, don't, uh, you don't play wordle do you no exactly <laughs> oh my god um but I mean even like, listing, look, 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 at the, look at I mean what kind of oil filter is that that didn't look very nice good god and that's way down there. But it looks so easy to change. It does. It's, it looks, not, like, it's uh, not gonna drip on anything. There's nothing underneath it. Right, definitely that if, if that, there's like that, that never mind. I'm not gonna say it's it. the most vulnerable position possible. I was gonna say it looks like it's, it's easy pretty to vulnerable. Hit. It's 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 definitely low-hanging fruit. Um, <laughs> I don't know what's in front of it though. Swap, it's not gonna be nearly so easy to change the oil. It's so got a bunch of stuff. Better change it while it's still in that engine. Well, the, the good thing the good thing about the LS engines is they're they're kind of very extremely small. If you can fit a small block Ford into this, you can fit an LS in there. Right, exactly. Forward. And I mean, like, I mean, all that sump is just gonna be gone. It's not gonna be needed. Nothing's gonna be there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, Casey. Put so, the oil filter in the next car. Did you want right, to share now we, part of, now we come to the part of the show where we did you were you done? I think you're done. 
yeah, yeah. But like uh, I said, like boss I said, man, I wanted, boss I wanted, man Tony, boss man Tony, have, running his own show. He is like, another... look. <laughs> I appreciate it because I always forget to unshare, and then you go to like. Oh. All right, um, Pearly, are we are we keeping you awake, Pearly? I've had a, I had a tough night. That's all. Barely. Uh, I wouldn't. I'm not going to ask. Uh, in the interest of the show ending. Um, this is the part of the show where we judge each other's picks. Uh, Mr. Huffman, you went first with the Malibu. Malibu, whose back windows don't open. You know, what's <laughs> one thumbs up. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> All right, what's your favorite? I think the squarebacks cancel each other out. Okay. I'm going, I'm going with a, uh, uh, the, the Roadmaster's kind of a been there, done that thing. And I like the idea of an LS powered. Uh, an LS power. Roadmaster has been there, done that. I mean, I don't mind you not voting James, for me. I just, James I wasn't expecting James, that. James Lipman drives one every day. I mean, it's just kind of like, yeah. yeah. One person drives a wagon <laughs> and that's what? been there, done that. I, 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 one I, photographer I, that nobody watching this knows who he is. <laughs> that's, that's not true. He, he, was was on on he was on this show. James Lipman was on the show. Jamie was on the show. And not only that, but you have a, somebody who's actually doing this. I understand doing a story for car and driver about turning the I, did, I didn't know that <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't know that until the day and you're, and you, but you're the favorite contributor and you didn't know that oh, so on, now we're getting great. somewhere Anyhow. Oh, right. yeah, yeah we're getting to the we're getting the root of this now we're getting, we're getting to the root of this <laughs> daddy <laughs> always is, love you more let's put it let's get on the couch let's get through this Anyhow, as the not favorite contributor i'm going to go with the, with the volvo wagon the volvo wagon is uh is, All right, Casey's uh, got one. Um, yeah. <laughs> Alana's Alana's off-road safari squareback. I like it. I can't not. I can't vote against the squareback. I'm a fork. <laughs> Alana, what's your favorite squareback besides your own? <laughs> <laughs> okay, again, hard. Good choices all around. Um, I think that Casey did the best research. I think his is the most like the like easiest and like most complete. But I've got to go with the other, uh, like, what, square back wagon. And also, you found a much nicer one than I did. So I'm <laughs> going to give it to you, Tony. I, I just, I think that's a fun wagon. And I found a company that'll do the swap, too. Yeah. I don't know what it costs, but they'll do it for you. <laughs> All right. Uh, Jonathan, after some technical difficulties, we saw your Roadmaster wagon. Which Even though everyone's doing it, remember that. I don't care. <laughs> I'm giving you two thumbs up because I like them so much, and it's a great story idea. <laughs> Yes, and it's a great reason to subscribe. Um, <laughs> Jonathan, what uh, what do you uh, what's your favorite? Um, uh, there are no bad choices this week, uh, but Malibu is kind of a bad choice. But... What? It's not a bad choice because <laughs> the windows don't go down. The windows don't go down. The windows don't go down. And the the lights being so low in the bumper. The lights are too low <laughs> it's a safety issue. <laughs> Tony, did you not notice that it had a hitch on it? So if somebody hit you, they would just hit the hitch and the lights would be fine. It's totally they're, Exactly. But they were, they're going to hit you because they didn't see your brake lights because they're on the ground. <laughs> I'm like, hey, Jonathan, Jonathan, sorry. No, please. <laughs> please continue. Um, uh, I was, I'm actually going to go with, uh, well, so originally I was going to go with an AMC wagon as a bug out wagon, um, but I couldn't find an engine that really intrigued me. So I'm actually going to go with the the best bug out option on this episode, which is the uh, Carmen, no, the swearback, uh, because I also feel like when you're bugging out with Elana's swearback, because when you're bugging out in that swearback, you come around a corner and people know, like, don't don't look that guy in the eye, <laughs> like whoever whoever he is, let him go. <laughs> yeah, because he will shoot you in a second. Uh, yeah, so so we've lost Curly. I'm sorry, my, my dog wandered out of my office. I think that happened several years ago. But... <laughs> there was a dog there? We, yeah, we, 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 we found him? <laughs> All right, and what did you guys think and of... You come with me on the, when, we, when we offer oh, the... Done. For... So done. is the score one, one for Alana, one for me, one for Casey? Okay. Yes. Um, okay, judge my Subaru swapped squareback. Oh, I can't vote against that. 200 extra horsepower. With, with the with stock wheels and tires. Now, 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 why don't you just make the inevitable vote for Alana's car because she picked the same car as you? Oh, she, here we go. Relax. Let's let the man speak. Yeah, thank you, Jonathan. I like Jonathan's uh, Roadmaster. I'll give him the win because of the LT4. I love the LT4. Oh man! <laughs> <laughs> don't don't shake your head, Casey. No, I think that's an achievement. Like, he feels like, 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 like he has been done wrong. Plan. I Jonathan, I think yours is achievable. Plan. 
It is totally. It yeah, totally that's what I like about it. There's no like weird surgery that's going to happen. That's going to happen. Six people. feet. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, getting that shifter to come through is just going to. No a hole. Drilling a hole is going to be a problem. <laughs> <laughs> Oh in, my in that structural trans tunnel? We did all the darkness projects at the same time, Ramsey would be driving before any of the rest of us. <sighs> yeah, maybe Pearl, right. Pearly might have a chance, but I know Pearly. <laughs> <laughs> God. All right, I think it's your turn, Casey, Casey to deliver Casey, you the You get the win. rare, the rare last chance. <laughs> to, to deliver the win? <laughs> yeah. No, I know, but he gave, I, 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 yeah, we all see it. We all see it through, Tony. I, so say, I, also, I told you he feels wrong. Yeah, yeah, Casey, even if I, I voted for you, you couldn't win. How so? You can't vote for yourself. Yeah. So I'd have two. Every everybody else would have one. No, I voted for him. So he to burn it on Pearly. Oh, exactly. you voted for Casey? I forgot. Yeah. You're no. <laughs> <laughs> That's why he felt you know, like the fix is already in. It. We covered it ninety seconds before you start. Before you gave your vote, I, you're like, let me let's recount. Oh yeah, both squarebacks and Casey. Okay. <laughs> I got wrapped up in Pearly's almost losing his dog. Um, yeah. Uh, oh wait, did we my... vote on Casey's car? No. What's that? Love no, it. my favorite. My favorite. My favorite is. Uh, no, we're I'm... voting for you, Casey. We're voting. Good thumbs it. up. Oh yeah. Thank you. <laughs> uh, uh, my favorite uh, is uh, I'm I'm going I'm going with Alana's because um, I like that it's not a, not a traditional. Uh, boss wagon, kind of the way that the Mazda Five is. If if uh, Ramsey scoots to his left, I think a little bit, you can see it there on the bottom. That was right. like uh, two years of work to get that thing actually. Oh. Where's it, where's it now? I don't. I don't. How I many years of crushed. therapy? <laughs> it was a lot. It was a lot. Well, it was. It was so. It was like yeah, everything like bolts up, piece of cake. But at the time, the Mazda speed. Um, worked on a completely different electrical architecture than the Mazda 5. So in there is the entire Mazda Speed wiring harness, the Mazda Speed 3 wiring harness and its engine computers. And then you try to figure out the wiring for a sliding door versus a hinged door. And I mean, we were repinning re stuff. It was, it was, uh, it was just a lot of work. It was, and it was started cool. doing it as a young man and and, that's <laughs> well, did you, you, and you had like, that you had that technical school helping out with the uh with the a little bit yeah yeah we had yeah. yeah well yeah i mean we had them we had them for a semester and basically <laughs> all the yeah basically all they did was was get the engine in in there all, all they did was like the, mm -hmm. the engine stuff but all right so um, alana wins is alana the winner? yeah alana wins and i mean i'm not mad but yeah. <laughs> no, all right well that brings that Hey Pearly, I gotta end. I gotta end. I gotta end. What do you want? Okay, Pearly, what do you want to say? I just want to know: is it, did, so the Mazda Five belonged to the Mazda? Did they crush it afterwards? No, yeah, it basically, it basically it was like we had it, we had it, we had it because uh, it, it just took so long to get it uh, to get it working, um, and then um, it uh, it died in a parking lot um, under. I don't know. I didn't see it, but the engine the engine blew up in a parking lot at a at a at a basically a cars and coffee type of thing. And somebody was revving it to show it off in neutral, so no load. It blew the engine. All right, that brings us to the end of this episode. <laughs> Ending on a high note. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, um, Alana. <laughs> if there are more, please keep sending the suggestions and let us know what boss wagon you would have created with the $50,000 budget in the comments and uh, hit subscribe and hit like, and we will see you all next week. Oh, you know what I was going to say? It's, 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 we're like on a Saturday Night Live schedule where it's like three on, two off. I don't know what that means. Well, you sometimes, <laughs> because you always say the sometimes weekly, but it's more like, it's like we'll do like two or three in a row and then it's like, <laughs> oh, no, it <laughs> oh, that's true. That's true. Yeah. So Saturday Night Live does three on and then they have two weeks off. For the young couple just starting out in life, Volkswagen introduces the Squareback Sedan. It costs about $1,000 less than many station wagons and goes about 27 miles on a gallon of gas.